Hi everyone, welcome to the Kylo YouTube channel. My name is Gracie and I'm the influencer relations intern for Kylo. I've been working there since May 2021. I started out as an intern and now I'm the influencer relations manager and I really enjoy it. And today I would like to show y'all how to do an awesome Valentine's Day look with my favorite palette from Kylo, the Le Jardin Volume 2. I am obsessed with this palette, as you can probably tell. Like, my palette's very dirty, but I am excited to get into the video, so let's go. All right, I'm also gonna use the Aquarelles. I have Amethyst and Citrine, and these are amazing for cut creases, and that's what I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna first start out with Citrine. I'm basically just gonna put it on my lash line. So what I do is I put it on my lash line, and then I look up and see it kind of creates that crease for you already and then you can go in with the brush and then kind of dust it yourself and make sure that you like the shape so you can just do it all along your lash line and look up and as you can see it's already created that line for me and then I'm gonna go in with a small shader brush coat my brush in it and I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a cut crease so I've been working for Kyla since May 2021, and but I found out about the brand in <laughs> May 2020. And so once they started releasing palettes, I got super excited because I had never seen a color story quite like um, Kyla, and I'm an art history minor, and so I've really enjoyed like seeing the inspiration and like especially like with the Impressionism and the Rococo movement, I think they've done a really good job capturing the essence of the color story and the paintings. I'm just gonna continue, you know, creating a sharp line with my brush and then slowly start to wing it out. Now we're gonna create the wing later, but I'm just kind of building a foundation right now. So next I'm gonna take a kind of fine, smaller shader brush and then I'm gonna take the amethyst aquarelle and I'm going to coat my brush in it so I'm going to start winging out and then because I want this to be a winged cut crease I think those are really fun okay now that I have that shape for the wing and I really like it I'm going to start patting and blending in the two aquarelles so the one that I'm using right now is amethyst and the one I used on the inner corner and all over the lid is citrine. So the reason why I work for Kyla is because I really enjoy the brand values. Like as an art history major, I really enjoy analyzing paintings and really appreciating the artistry behind it. And I fell in love with makeup because I love the artistry. Once I realized that it was an artistry, not just something to make you feel pretty, it was, it was something that you can express yourself with, I just fell straight in fell in love with the artistry. In my opinion, Kyla just represents all of that. And with it being a one of a colored own brand and cruelty free and vegan, I just really like working for them because it does encapsulate all of my values. And I know that what we're doing is making an impact in the industry and in artistry as a whole. But if you're into art and you wanna understand like the artistry behind it, and why we chose the colors and like how it's inspired by these paintings. We actually have a blog <laughs> and it's currently in the works. I'm gonna write a blog for all of the palettes and the inspirations behind it. So definitely check that out if you're an art history nerd like I am. We're going to create another winged out cut crease. So I'm just gonna be very light handed and I just kind of wing it. I don't try to make it exact and like look at my eyebrows and just like analyze the whole thing. Like this is supposed to be artistry new expressing yourself and if it has, you know, a little bit of mishaps, that's okay. Like that's what impressionism is all about. You know, it's not realism. It's about expressing yourself in the different strokes. Make sure that every pieces are unique. And every time I do this technique, it turns out differently and I love it every time. The reason why I love these shades is because they blend together so well. They just are meant for each other. <laughs> and I also really like this technique with the blue. 
I think it's called Jade. It's so beautiful. So I've really only taken one class on Impressionism. I really enjoyed it because it was so different from the previous art movement. So before that, there was the Renaissance art movement and the Baroque movement, and then it kind of transitioned to realism. And Impressionism, or and Romanticism, it was Romanticism and then Realism, but the Impressionism movement is so out of the ballpark <laughs> for most of the art movements because it was technically the least technical, which is why so many art critics of the time was were kind of like, this isn't art, like it's not accurate, it doesn't depict humans accurately. And now it's one of the most inspiring for modern art you know once we learned how to create free lines and especially with the um impressionism palette with water lilies and the and the night sky by van gogh we really learned how to um or artists really learned how to just use the strokes as an artistic expression versus representing the object and that's why i really enjoy the impressionism movement I would also say it kind of sparked, you know, like the Cubism movement and the modern movement. And the modern movement really focuses on clean lines and simplicity, but it wouldn't be where it is today had they not had the Impressionism movement. So it was really a catalyst for literally any type of artistic expression, you know, with makeup and ballet even. It became more of a expression and not so technical, and it led to a bunch of different ricochets of different types of art. I'm going to go in with a clean brush and then go in with a shadow. So I'm gonna go in with Snapdragon, which is this kind of Barbie pink shade. And I'm gonna put it all over the inner corner and middle of the lid. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the middle of the lid with something else. So I actually saw a Van Gogh in Chicago and whenever I went, I think it was the Sh Chicago Museum of Art. And when I went, I literally cried. I think I saw the bedroom, which was absolutely crazy. Uh, on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna go in with Sweet Pea, and that's just like this jewel purple. But I'm just gonna follow that same winged shape and try not to get outside of it. I'm gonna blend it in right in the middle. So that way, it kind of creates its own shade. And now we've got a really nice ombre effect. So now we've got the basic shape and you can totally leave this here or you can go in the lower lash line depending on what you want. This is kind of like a modern inspired with like the sharp looks but I kind of like a smoky lower lash line every now and then. So I'm going to go in with Primrose and I'm just going to build that lower lash line. And I'm going to put it all over the lower lash line and then we're going to deepen it up with Rose. So I bought the Le Jardin Volume 1 before I worked for Kyla, and I feel so special <laughs> that I have it. And I would say, let's see, I think I have it with me. So if you want a side-by-side -side comparison, you can't get this one anymore. And then this is the newer version. It's um, a little bit deeper, a little bit more saturated. And this one has more corals, and this one has more rosy tones. So, whatever, I mean, you can't get it anymore. But if you have it, you can kind of, this definitely creates a different look. So I'm going to continue going in on the lower lash line, but I'm going to use rose on the outer lash line. And kind of connect it to that wing that we've already created. So yeah, I would definitely run, not walk to get this. Uh, Le Jardin Volume 2 because it's limited edition and once it sells out, it sells out and this one you don't want to miss. And I'm going in with Snapdragon just on the inner corner. And then this is totally up to you, but if you're like me and you love color, go for it. I love using this green shade Rosemary on my inner corner. I think it's <laughs> so fun and even if you're doing like a natural nude look it looks so fun to have just a pop of color in the inner corner so I'm just gonna use it very lightly because it's very pigmented and I want to make sure that I have a nice reflect and then I like to go in with the inner quarter shade in the contour so that way it kind of defines it a little bit more so I'm gonna go in on the side of the brush and on the top of the brush 
And I'm just gonna go over the line where we put Snapdragon. But yeah, what art movements would you like to see from Kyla? Some of y'all have guessed the new one correctly. And I will say, you are not gonna be disappointed. So you can take whatever highlight you have, but I'm gonna use Wisp from the Impressionism palette because this is honestly a really pretty highlight like on the face and the inner corner. And I'm gonna use that same green brush and I'm gonna just tap this over top the green because I don't want it to be covering the green. I want the green to still shine through, but I want a more bright inner corner. And you can kind of see that difference. It looks just a little bit brighter. My favorite way to play with the Kylo palettes is just to mix and match them. I'm trying to stick to one palette, but it's so hard. So I just went in with the mascara off camera, and I love the way it looks, especially with the lower lash line. Sometimes when I don't do a lower lash line with my eyeshadow, I don't put mascara on there, and it looks very clean and sleek, especially with the cut lines, the sharp lines. Let's go ahead and use one of our color washes. So this one particularly is my favorite in youth. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna tap it in over my contour that I already put on. And I'm just gonna lightly press it because these get really pigmented. But they don't dry down that quickly, so you have a plenty of time to blend them out. But yeah, what makeup tutorial would you like to see next? Um, a couple of the team members are going to be doing their own tutorials, so make sure you check out us. We're probably going to be posting, what, bi-monthly? So definitely look forward to that. And I'm going to go in a little bit on the temples so I can blend that in together. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, it just blends itself. It's so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with... Airy. This is the very fair one because it's winter in Texas and I'm very fair at the moment. And I'm going to go in with my finger and warm up the product a little bit and then tap it on my skin. So I'm going to try to angle it to where you can see it. And I'm just like setting it. Like I'm not even blending it right now. I'm just putting it on there. I'm going to put it a little bit on my shoulders, the leftovers, because it's fun little bit of tip if you want like a fun going out moment <laughs> and I'm gonna just go over where I place that highlight and also tap in with my finger at the same time because these are very intense so I like to melt them into the skin also we have like shimmery formulas for the blushes like I used the matte blush matte cream blush <laughs> but the shimmery ones are absolutely stunning. I'm going to touch up my lip gloss off camera and I'll see you soon. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoy it. And I will have all the products linked down below. I, okay, if you do, if you check out anything, I would definitely check out the Kylove Leisure Den palette. It's absolutely stunning. And you can see how much I've used it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this look, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what other products you want to see, other looks. I definitely want to make stuff that y'all want to see. So make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.